Hi fam, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is going to be the first shop my stash for 2022. Yes, so I'm really excited to kick off the shop my stash series. One of the things I really want to introduce, which I tested a little bit last year, was to do makeup tutorials using the shop my stash and just upload them as videos as tutorials some of them will have a little bit of a review in it if it's a palette that i haven't used before or if i'm using if i pulled products that i knew that i haven't used before i feel like that's a really good opportunity for me to tell you guys how i feel because you know we shop your stash you use the product over a certain number of weeks days that kind of thing so for me it worked a little bit last year because i did do a few videos using my shop my stash but i really want to amp it up this year and use that as an opportunity to do more reviews as opposed to doing like a sit down full face testing new makeup like putting everything in one video sometimes takes too long and sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming because i'm testing a lot of products but with the shop my stash i can really focus on a few to talk about but anyway that's the idea but this particular video is going to be me pulling the product for the shop my stash which i'm hoping fingers crossed i can do one a month so that i can actually do videos throughout that month using the product so i'm gonna pull a little bit more than i usually do especially in the eyeshadow region um just so that i can really really focus on shop my stash once a month that's the idea we'll see how we go throughout the year but that's the plan so we are starting off with eyeshadow palettes yes what better way to set the turn for the look than with the eyeshadow palette so if this sounds interesting to you then definitely keep on watching and let's start pulling products Now, if you've been to my channel before or if you subscribe to my channel, you know that I recently did a eyeshadow palette declutter series. So I'm left with, uh, I don't know, over 200 maybe eyeshadow palettes still, but they are categorized. So they're categorized in the top layer having a bit of color. So you've got more of your muted colors, more of your grungier colors um, up the top. And then you've got a break with my handbag and then the next roll you've got the neutrals and then the following roll you've got neutrals on one side and then colors down there and then excuse the mess you're probably gonna see a little bit of mess but then you've got the color 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 so my intention because of the way it's laid out I think it makes it a lot easier for me to really pull products so that I'm not pulling the same thing or you know using the same palettes over and over my intention is to focus in on palettes that are either brand new or I've used only once and that I've probably not reviewed on my channel yet also I want to pick two from each layer so I've got one two three four layers Two from each layer is eight eyeshadow palettes. So that's the intention because then I can, you know, use it throughout the month and I've got some time to do the videos and give you guys my review. All right. So um, I've got my Ofra palettes. I've got some E Unique, my Viseart, my ABH palette. The only ABH palette that I haven't used. Oh, actually, there are a few. I haven't used the... I'm really on camera, but I have used that in my own time. I've got the um, Kali Bible and I've got the Novena. So I'm thinking to pull the Novena palette. And I don't think I've used this on camera yet. I probably have swatched it or maybe used it in a separate video, but I haven't used it on camera. So we are definitely going to pull this one because I've got... A little bit of neutral with pops of color these are colors that i like to wear to work anyway so and it will give me a chance to test this palette so that's one and then the second palette that i wanted to pull is the uh natasha denona palette so i've had my eye on this one for a while because i am still yet to use this palette and i've had it for a year now 
and it's the love palette and i know it's kind of similar to the novena palette in terms of the purples but there are some pinks in here that red so i think i can get some really beautiful looks using this palette so and again it's brand new i haven't used it and yeah i'm gonna pull this one to say that i'm gonna pull all the products first and then we're gonna organize it in my case or in my i think i might put them in my drawer depending on how many products that I pull in general. Right, so I do have two eyeshadow palettes on the side here, and those are the P. Louise palettes. So I've got the Worldy, and I've also got the, whatchamacallit, the main, you know, the first one. So I don't ever want to forget that. Um, obviously, when I'm thinking of eyeshadow palettes, I always want to remember that those are there but i don't want to pick those because i've already picked from top from there but i feel like those will be added do you know what i mean like those will be added there anyway i'm rambling now so from this second roll i need to pick two palettes and immediately i want to play with this p louise palette and this is the all i see is signs you'd have seen me swatch a few of these shades when i was comparing colors for the be perfect palette it's a huge palette i have to use two hands to hold it let's get the filter off okay it is a huge palette it's a huge huge palette but it's so beautiful it's got neutrals um orange yellow you know gold i think definitely gonna get some beautiful looks from this but she's a big girl um so i definitely want to use my p louise palette i did say that that i do want to get some more use out of it and get some more content using p louise palette so we're definitely going to be pulling at least one that was about where i got to in terms of that layer in terms of my thought process so there are quite a lot of palettes from this particular layer that i have used so these are my Ofra palettes which i've used them um I've got the Gemini palette, which I've used recently, my Urban Decay palette, though I haven't used the Honey palette on camera, I don't think, at least not on YouTube. Uh, these are my ABH palettes that I've used. I do have some IHA Revolution palettes, but I used two of them throughout the um, festive looks that I was doing just before Christmas. Um, Tarte palettes, Pat McGrath palettes. Although I haven't really used the Pat McGrath palette, so not these ones. Um, and I don't want to pull another Natasha Denona palette or else it's like, what are you doing? Although I could. But I think I'm going to pull another Natasha Denona palette because why not? And the only other one I haven't used, because there are two actually. Yeah. So I haven't used the Sunrise palette, but the Sunrise palette to me really does remind me of the All I See Signs palette. So that's the Sunrise. Okay, it's gorgeous. I also haven't used the Zendo palette, which really shouldn't have even been on that layer, but because of the greens, I just just kept it there. I think I'm going to pull this one because I've got a little bit of color on there as well and some green. So let's pull the Zendo palette. Let's pull the Zendo palette instead. I'm going to put the Sunrise palette back. So I really do want to focus in on the Morphe palettes. Um, one of you, Janelle, she mentioned she'd like to see me use um, more of the Morphe palettes because obviously <laughs> when I was doing the declutter video, I came across one palette that I had completely forgot that I purchased, like 100% forgot. I would have argued, I probably would have even repurchased that palette if I had come across it because of that's, that's just crazy, I forgot. Anyway, so she suggested that I do tutorials using the Morphe palette, so why not? Because I do have a lot of them and quite a lot of them are brand new. So I am going to focus in my attention a little bit on the Morphe palette. 
but I also want to use the Pat McGrath Utopian palette. So we're going to pick one Morphe palette from here, but I'll also pick another Morphe palette from below. I was going through the Morphe palette, but I just wanted to bring you guys attention. I know I've mentioned this in passing um, in one of my previous videos, but if you don't have the Natasha, sorry, if you don't have the ADH Novena palette and you have the Morphe 13F, 18F palette, honestly, you can't tell me these are not dupe, dupe shadows. Like literally 100%. I'm not hearing people talk about this, but the Novena palette to me, like dupe worthy. The shade, um, shades are so similar, but the formula might be slightly different in terms of a shimmer versus a matte. So Wild Child is a shimmer, which is probably more like a matte down here or here. But honestly, the um, DNA of the palette, similar. But anyway, that's not the palette that I am picking because... We already have the Novena palette, so I decided to select the 18B palette. So this is the Making Bank palette, and it's got greens. I've used this. Um, I've pulled this into a Shop My Stash before, but I don't think I created any videos using this. So but I have used it in a shop my stash. So we're gonna pull that on. So I like to have a little bit of green, why not? So we'll pull that for Morphe. And as I said, I really wanna pull the Utopian palette. I have been waiting for this palette forever. So it's finally come. Do you wanna believe that I haven't even opened it? <laughs> what if because i was like finally but then the urge had gone away so whatever i was like she's here whatever oh my gosh how cute nice cool tone neutrals and those shimmers and those trichromes or dual chromes not sure i haven't swatched it but look at that the way it catches the light beautiful so yeah We'll be pulling that, and putting the palettes without the packaging. I'm going to put the packaging back here. So that's what we've got from that layer. And then the bottom layer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull the Morphe palette. So this is the Natural Flip 35XO palette. Tell me something. Tell me something. Morphe did something with this palette. Oops. She's a beaut. Look at those bo bottoms, like the bottom. I can't speak. She's gorgeous. So we're going to pull her. We are definitely going to pull her. And then one more. I really want a colorful, colorful, colorful eyeshadow palette. There are quite a number of colorful palettes. Um, that I haven't done videos with, but the one that comes to mind, I'm going to pull, yeah, I'm going to pull the P. Louise Watch the Queen Conquer eyeshadow palette, because remember I said, I want to pull palettes I haven't used before, or I haven't reviewed before on my channel, and this was one of my Black Friday purchases, and I did show this in my haul. So you can open the palette up and it's like a chess table. And it's two sided. So we've got purples and oops. Oh, films. Two sided. You've got purples, you've got pink. Stunning. And then the other side, you've got yellows, you've got greens, like best of both worlds. So we are, we are going to pull this one. 
it. So that's all the eyeshadow palettes. Now let's go ahead and pick every other category. So these are my primers. We've got quite a bit of primers. So it's still a little bit cool. So I do want hydrating. I also want uh, a little bit of mattifying because there's sometimes and long lasting. So hydrating. Pop this back in here. Um, let's. I'm gonna use primers that I haven't really used as much that I didn't really use as much in 2021. So this is a serum, but can also be used as a primer. Don't want to use that. I do want to use this one more though. This is the Stella One Step Prime. I do love this primer. I started using it towards the end of 2021. So we are gonna pull this one. Um I'm going to pull the Makeup Obsession one. So I did start using this one as well. And then my girl Tolu gave me another one when I visited her. So thank you, girl. Never have too many of these primers. Like I really do love them. So we are gonna we are gonna take that one on board. And then there is another Laura Mercier primer that I have. So this is the Hydrating Pure Canvas Primer. So I'll have the Stella and I'll also have this one for hydrating. So I do want one more mattifying. The um, Makeup Obsession one is a pore putty primer, but it they don't always um, feel mattifying. They do feel the pores, but I find that some of them are not as mattifying. This one I can't really remember. I think I've only tried it like once or twice, I, I, I think. But it is really, really good. It is good. But I want another mattifying one. The Huda Beauty one, I used it to death. The Laura Mercier one, I used it to death. I feel like I need to invest in more primers. So the Illuminating, I've got this one from NYX, which is the Shine Killer. This one as well, I've used it to death. This one. Poor less primer. You know what? I'm going to have to just use one of the ones that I've used to death. Because what are we going to do? We don't have that many primers. And I don't buy too many primers because I don't like products like going to waste. Um, this is also, The Thin Lizzy one is also a pore minimizing primer. So I'm stuck between these two. What about the Dermalogical one? Skin Perfect, Smart. It's not mattifying. No. Okay, so I'm, it's one of these. I'm just going to go with the Laura Mercier one because, you know, I love it. So that's primers now done. We are here with my chest of drawers. Might as well do highlighters. So I've got a lot of neutral pinks, purple. Um like warmer tone and also a few cool tone eyeshadow palettes so i do want to use the ofra i do have a few from ofra that i want to use more of so i did do swatches of my ofra highlighters and there were a few this one's gumdrop gumdrop is so yellow so pretty as well So this one I've used, gingerbread I've used. I'm looking for the one that pulls orangey. So this is the pinky one. This is pink this. This is Mother Earth. What's this one? Milk and cookies. Pumpkin pie. So that's the one I'm looking for. I really want to use this one. So we're going to pull pumpkin pie. Okay. So I've moved on to the second drawer because I do have some more highlighters here. And I do want to use the uh, Be Perfect Mama Mitchell highlighter palette. And this one has a lot of highlighters in it. So we're going to use this one quite a bit. I think that's enough. I actually think I've got all the highlighters that I need in those two palettes. I don't know for a fact, these angles are so difficult when trying to record these videos. But yeah, I'm in my blush drawer and I don't have that many blushes, which I am happy with. So I do want to pull the Trixie one because I don't feel like I've used that as much 
or he wrote it as much on my youtube channel and i really do love this so this is what it looks like on the inside and this is the um just a girl palette i love i love this it's so cute so cute and another blush I want I do want to get into liquid blushes even more and cream blushes. There are some new ones that I got from Color Drain that I featured in the video. So I'm gonna pull this one is called Stiletto Rose Cream Blush. So I'm gonna pull that one. And then I also wanna pull um mm -mm -mm also want to pull let me pull the Afa beauty one so this is the crystal char cheek palette in ruby i quite like this really 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 love this palette it's so pretty gorgeous excuse me gorgeous palette love the names as well manifestation balance courage very positive so that's enough for blushes, I think. The bronzers. So bronzers, I used the Fenty Beauty bronzer to death towards the end of last year, literally to death. Um, <laughs> but we are going to switch things up a little bit this year. I want to really use my cream blushes more, use more of the color drain bronzers, I mean. So this is Naughty Spice. Naughty Spice. I do want to get some more, I think. This one's pretty dark. This one is like a tiny bit, and sometimes I go overboard. So I think I'm going to pull Naughty Spice. I'm definitely going to pull the Putty Bronzer. Oh, I can't remember which one I enjoyed more of. I'm not sure now. I think I used one of them. Okay, it's not this one. This one I swatched. Don't even know why I'm keeping it. I should declutter it to be honest. This one I used. Yeah. So we're gonna take that one. And then one more because I love me a good bronzer. Let us you know I'm edging towards the Morphe one. <laughs> But I'm trying not to use that one to death this year. So I'm going to take the, the Fenty Beauty one. Yeah, I'm going to take Mocha Mami. Yeah, done. Hey, so we are over here at my foundation. So we've got some foundations. So just to remind us, I have hydrating primer. I have mattifying primer. And I also have a pore primer. Okay, so... I do have some foundations here as well. So let's pick some. I want to use more of the Huda Beauty foundation. So this is the Huda Gingerbread Foundation 430N. This isn't my shade. This is not my shade. However, I do want to mix it with something else that is darker. So I'm thinking to mix it in with this skin tint from... Uh, Lucky London. One was super, super deep. So I'm gonna just open it to see which one was super deep. And then one was so okay. So this one's fine. This one worked really, really well. Um, I'm not gonna pull it this time just so that I don't get confused. So I'm gonna pull this one with the Huda foundation, and this is the N N O forty five. I do have a review of this on my YouTube channel already. So I'm going to mix those two in just for color. I'm also going to pull in my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I don't pull this in often. And this is the NC55. And I don't know why because I love MAC foundation. So I'm going to pull this one in. I'm also going to pull in these um, tinted moisturizers from Laura Mercier. I was sent this last year and I haven't used it. So this is 6C Cacao. I do have another color. So I don't even know which one or if I'm going to end up mixing. So this one is 6N1 Mocha, which I suspect 
will be my skin tone but we're gonna pull the two just in case if i need to mix and i think that's enough foundations i'm only gonna pull those three well with the mixing shades obviously mix more than three but i think that's enough while we're here let's pick my concealers which are down here so this is the only drawer of concealers that i have now which i am super proud of so i decluttered a lot of my concealers because i wasn't using them they were just there so i do have a really good small amount of concealers i will be investing in some more this year but anyway i'm gonna use this one so this is a brand new one i finished the one that i had in my collection last year so this is the revolution pro ultimate radiant under eye concealer in c13 and i do have a review of this on my youtube channel it's a really really good concealer so we'll pull that one i am going to pull the pat mcgrath concealer because i absolutely love this i actually need to buy another one uh but pat mcgrath is not filling me with a lot of confidence lately in terms of their shipping but this is MD24, so I'm going to pull this one because it's a banging concealer. And then I'm going to pull a Revolution concealer because I love Revolution concealers. And I need to pull... Do I have any that's open? I see 4.5. Okay, I don't have any that's open, so we're going to pull this one anyway. This is the Concealer and Define Concealer in... C12.5. Because I have a lot of eye bases, I split my eye bases into neutral bases and then I've got colorful bases. So we're going to pull, um, based on the palettes that I have, we're going to pull a few neutral bases. So I do want to use the color drain bases a little bit more. So this is rope. I'm going to pull rope. I'm also going to pull um, wheat and I'm going to pull one of my P. Louise bases because I absolutely love P. Louise bases. So I'm going to pull the one that is closer to my skin tone for those days that I'm not feeling like doing the absolute most. That's this one. Yeah, room number five. I'm gonna pull that one and that's that for and then for the colorful bases because i've got some purples i've got some greens i've got some oranges so i'm gonna pull like a mix of bases so i'm gonna pull this one this is p louise ott orange um i'm also actually gonna pull this one as well this is one of the crisp uh finishes in what's this one called smoking hot and then for the purple, I purple forgot that I have a yellow base, you know. The purple, oh, purple can get a little bit overwhelming when I use a base. Sometimes it just overpowers the entire look, and sometimes you just want a little bit of color. Like I don't want to overpower the entire look. So instead, I think I'm going to pull, I'm definitely going to pull my glitter base. What about that one? Oh, where is it? Where is the cover? Okay. That's all I do. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pull the glitter base. That's a given. So instead, I'm going to pull uh, this one from ADH. If I want to do more of the purple look. And I think that's enough. It's enough base. Did I pull any for green? Maybe this one. I could pull this khaki one. Where is it? This one. I could pull this one. This is keeping it khaki. Why not? The powders. You don't need to do that much when it comes to powders. So. I'm definitely going to pull my banana powder because I love this stuff. It works for me. So why not? I have to pull my normal powder, which I think I have replaced. So maybe not. I haven't replaced it yet, but I do have a brand new one of this somewhere. Which I need to... Oh, there it is. 
So we need to pull that one. So that's my all over face powder. So it is the Revolution Pro Warm Golden CC Perfecting Press Powder. And then one more, one more set in powder. Probably going to pull my Laura Mercier powder. Why not? All right, so lip products now. <laughs> This one is, yeah, it's going to be a moment. So I do want to pick glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. And some of the Trixie glosses have been like calling me. So I am going to pull this one called I Am Baby. Focus, please. Thank you. So this one called I Am Baby. She's coming. She's gorgeous, isn't she? This one in ginger spice as well. Stunning. All right, so we're over on this side, and I do want to pick some bullet lipsticks. I was thinking of picking this one from Pat McGrath. Oops, this one from Pat McGrath. This is McEnemy, and I think she is perfect for the season. I did nick her a little bit. Oops, come on. Yeah, I did nick her a little bit, but sorry about the light. I am right over the light. Right, I decided to pick a few MAC lipsticks because I haven't been showing love to my MAC lipstick. So I've got this one. This one's a little bit busted, but you know, she will uh, do some work. So this is self-aware. She, she's, she's a little bit busted. <laughs> she's a little bit busted. And an amplified finish. And then I've got mean green machine which i just think will be just quite fun it's just a green green lipstick just for the days that i do wear green you know just for fun those would do for now because lipsticks is something that i'm always pulling new ones into the um into the mix depending on the way the look comes out but i think these are good base colors so i've got one green one um vampy shade i've got a couple of nudes i've got some very beautiful glosses so yeah i think i'm quite happy with those picks for now all right so i've basically set everything on the table i'm going to get my case and we're going to sort them out in there and then i'm going to select my lip pencils eye pencils mascara and all of that so i'm going to speed through this because this is just me trying to sort everything into that case. I don't think everything's gonna fit. <laughs> Maybe I should try putting them in my drawer. What do you guys think? Let me have a think. Anyway, eyeshadow palettes are over here, nice and big. And then I've got my powders, I've got my bases here, I've got my concealers, I've got my primer and foundations here. Okay. Um, eye stuff, so mascara, brow products, eye pencils, lip products, I've got blush, bronzer, highlighter, which you probably can't even see oh, there there that is what we have darlings 
I am so excited to try these products out. As I said, I'm going to try and see if one month will work for the Shop My Stash. There are a few categories that I don't naturally pull because I'm pretty, I pretty much stick to either the same thing or I like to switch it up often. So my skincare stuff, once I've started using a range of products, I normally stick to it. But what I will try to remember to do is when I come back um, for the next Shop My Stash, I'll tell you what products I was using and how I find it. Or you can wait for a favorites video. Um, for fragrances, it depends on my mood. I change my fragrances almost every day. So no point pulling fragrances. But if there are some that I used more that month, I will let you know. And I think those are the only categories. Lashes, um, mascara... Um, Lashes, I normally pull when I'm in the mood. I don't always wear lashes. So I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this first Shop My Stash. I know it was pretty long, but kind of wanted to bring you guys with the intro and everything. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to use these products. Definitely sound off in the comment section which palettes you're most excited to see me use or use in a Shop My Stash video like a makeup tutorial video or just a get ready with me type of video so yeah definitely sound off in the comment section and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe on your way out join the family join the fam bam <laughs> and turn on your post notification so you know my next i release a video on this channel i do beauty content fragrance content beauty recommendations, I do product recommendations in general, plus size fashion, beauty, beauty, beauty. That's what we do on this channel. So if that sounds like something that, that would interest you, then definitely subscribe and share my channel with your loved ones so that they can also enjoy the content. So yeah, I will catch you in a future video. Remember, God doesn't like ugly. Be nice to one today and black lives will always matter. And I will see you in a future video. Bye. <laughs>